Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US markets traded close to flat on lighting news flow as reporting season now nears its end. The Dow Jones was the only one of the major indexes to finish in the green and extended its winning streak to six days. The Dow closed 0.44% higher. The S&P 500 closed unchanged and the Nasdaq just tipped into the red, closing down by 0.18%. In company news, Uber shares fell 5.7% after reporting a surprise loss and softer than expected bookings revenue. Intel lost more than 2% after the chipmaker lowered its second quarter revenue guidance. Tesla shares dipped 1.7% after Reuters reported that US prosecutors are looking into whether the company committed wire fraud as part of a probe into Tesla's autopilot systems. Amgen and JP Morgan Chase were among the biggest contributors of the gains to the Dow, advancing more than 2% each. In economic news, Boston Fed President Susan Collins said on Wednesday that the Fed's interest rate policy will likely need to remain at its current level until inflation is moving sustainably toward the central bank's 2% target. Goldman Sachs predicts OPEC will extend oil production cuts in June, with Saudi crude supply expected to remain steady at 9 million barrels a day in July. Additionally, the Biden administration has raised the price ceiling for replenishing the U.S. emergency oil reserves to $79.99 per barrel, facilitating improved hedging opportunities for potential bidders. Turning to U.S. sectors, the best performer was utilities, which closed 1.05% higher. The worst performing sector was real estate, which closed down 0.9%. In European news, Sweden's central bank surprised markets by cutting interest rates for the first time in eight years on Wednesday in another sign of monetary policy divergence between the US and Europe. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.24% loss. Thank you for listening.